What's going on, everybody? It's RGB Tech back here again. In today's video, I'm going to test the PS3 versions of GTA 5 and GTA 4 on a Mali GPU phone. I'm not kidding, guys. This is actually for real. I'll be testing it on the RPCS3 Android PS3 emulator. RPCS3 has just released the latest alpha build version 4. And in this update, they fixed several issues, including ROM compilation errors. So right now, I'm using my Galaxy device powered by the Exynos 1380 chipset, featuring a Mali G68 5-core GPU with the latest graphics driver. Performance-wise, this is pretty close to the MediaTek's Dimensity 7300. All right, so here I've already updated RPCS3 to the latest version, and I also imported the game ROMs. And here the latest PS3 firmware version 4.92 is also installed. If you missed my last video, where I covered the complete setup process, make sure to check it out in the cards or in the description. Right here there is a system info option. It displays the phone's CPU ARM architecture, total threads, and the GPU Mali G68. All right, now let's move on to the actual test starting with Grand Theft Auto 4. Here, I've already compiled the PPU modules, which significantly reduces the initial load time. However, if you're running the game for the first time, it can take 10 to 15 minutes depending on your device's performance. To prevent overheating, I'll also be using a cooling attachment because the device is already getting hot. Also, if you're using an older phone like the Helio G99, it will take longer to load. Keep in mind that the minimum requirement to use this emulator is Android 12 or above. Okay, guys, as you can see, it has started. And wow, look at this. We are running the PS3 version of GTA 4 on a Mali GPU phone. This is actually insane. And what's even crazier, it's running without proper GPU drivers. That's something I honestly never expected to see. Also, in this update, they have fixed the analog stick on the virtual controller. Oh, looks like there's a graphical glitch here, but to be honest, this is insane for a Mali GPU phone. Now, let's move on and test GTA 5. But before that, I'll copy the game ROM file to the storage. Here, I've loaded the ROM modules of GTA 5. Let's see how well it runs. Here, it starts compiling the modules. All right, all right, here we go. Look at this, guys. We are finally running the PS3 version of GTA 5 on Android before GTA 6. We're getting around 5 to 10 FPS. Yeah, it looks pretty glitched, like the textures are still processing. But yeah, still, this is cool. Remember, it's actually running on the native PS3 resolution means 720p by default. If you're using a more powerful phones like with Dimensity 8300 or above, or an Exynos 2200 or above, you'll get even better higher FPS. I'll speed up this video a bit. Let's also check out the game settings. 
Well, the PS3 version doesn't have many options to configure since it's already optimized for consoles. Unlike on PC, pretty simple. In future updates, we can expect better performance, higher FPS, and fewer glitches as RPCS3 improves optimizations for mobile devices. PS3 emulation on Android is already impressive, and it will only get better. The Exynos 1380 on this phone is actually holding up pretty well. Even some PCs struggle with PS3 emulation. Anyways, that's all for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.